cool, cool, cool. All right. A bedtime story. Like as if there are happy endings and princes who wear shields and fought dragons to be here with me. Or when nights get lost in our business hours, at least kiss my forehead and hold me tightly sometimes. I am losing faith in how love can be healing. It's done so much damage that my heart contains broken shards that still bleed after construction. It's like being told that God loved you a second ago. Like men were overpowered with so much pride that they forgot why they crowned you. Tell me a bedtime story. Because this is as close as I am going to get to love. It remains a fairy tale now. Happy endings, swords and shields. I protect myself sometimes. Wasting war cries on makeup remedies, eyeshadow, lipstick. I am at war with my own beauty, wondering if there was a gateway to men like you because it only seemed like peasants come knocking. I don't mean to be full of myself. But black women seem to always get the good guys at the end of Tyler Perry movies. I want to know if it's true. I want to stop dreaming. I forgot what being a woman felt like. Built massacres in the righteous of dawn, the crepes of my eyelids broke mirrors to the sounds of you're not pretty enough, you're not strong enough. I grow impatient, standing at this line to sit at my own throne, dreaming for what? I don't need a king to crown me royal. I don't need a carriage. Because God has already poured ink in my pond and soaked me to perfection. My God, I'm beautiful. Gorgeous. No deuce was said, Linda. Queen, I have been dreaming. For what? For sweeter things. And if a man can handle my wrath and my kindness. For someone to follow suit and become mine. I've spent so much time trying to get out of my own mind, how can you win a battle that you should have lost years ago? Do you leave footprints in your closet when you walk out of it? Does your kingdom proclaim a false king to make it civilized again? You are not worthy of my heart. Don't tell me that love still exists when it holds more lost numbers than wins. I am sick and tired of being a loser to this game, to this false prophecy. I have been dreaming for what? I am afraid. Afraid that one day my dreams would finally kill me. Because all I have been doing is looking for something sweeter. Dreaming after bedtime stories. Thank you. Hair. Is there some black women in here, of course, about that hair? Okay. So, um, this poem was actually um, in a, a short film, um, and it was presented at our film festival back... Oh, by the way, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm not from here, but... Uh, I traveled all the way here to see y'all. You already know. <laughs> but it was at our Milwaukee Film Festival. It ended up being at the... Um, Barcelona Short Film Festival in Spain, and then of course, it came here in Brooklyn on Sunday that just passed, so I'm super fucking excited for this. So, I'm going to share this poem with you. Again, it has to do with being a black woman and understanding what your hair is. It does not define you, but it damn sure is who you are. This poem is called The Story She Tells. If my hair could tell stories, she would speak volumes. Tidal waves through bridges that runneth over, curse the avalanche in her tongue. She would only speak in tongues. She would speak in the language she's from. Disobey the melanin they claim her to be. Spite the order they believe she can see. If my hair could tell stories, 
she would spit fire at your feet. Ground your presence every time she speaks. She speaks to me. Evolution, power, revolution, devour my hair is a protest. A march between my curls. A nation within my scalp. A flag launched within my naps. If my hair could tell stories, she would show you the battle damage. Clip her stripped ends and twist out her shouts. She has never been straightened out. Been pulled and yanked, but curly nonetheless. Yes, she is beautiful. Yes, she is strong. Yes, she is woman. For tell the secrets to her black. Prophesy between her parted seas. The God she speaks. Breeze and rough around her edges. If my hair could tell stories, she would cry. Laugh until her follicles sway together. Frown with persistence in her tone. Smile while she grows. Watch her grow. Watch her glow. Shimmer. Rewind the details and repeat her song. My hair tells me stories, and I will never stop listening. Thank you. Do I got any poets in the room? Any poets? Any poets? A lot of y'all ain't here. I just gotta understand that I've went around a lot of my people. So, <laughs> but so check this out. This next poem explains itself a lot, um, but have you ever been told that you can't write about yourself in your poem? Yep. I heard that there was a such thing as skinny shaming. Is that shit true? Yes. 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 Is it for real? Yes. Damn. I'm in the wrong side of town then. But check this out. So. I was told I couldn't talk about myself being plus sizes and loving myself in my poem, which is bullshit. So, I'm gonna share this poem. This poem is for them. Excuse my language. <laughs> to the poet who doesn't like when I spit poems about my fat ass. Girl. Business. Make sure the creases in your jeans are straight and not too crooked for your own misjudgment. Find it in your heart that you don't appreciate my curves because your boyfriend does. He must like them better. Do not pretentiously talk about me to others that I need help on some plan you executed when you were my size in some other fucking universe. Do not pretend to be my friend to avoid fat shaming. I'm a big girl. Literal and metaphorically. You don't pose a threat to me, sweetheart. I am size 22. A lame Brian physique and a queen for Torrid. A god behind closed doors. They were great to me. It's that good. They told me to be humble since the age of seven. Built two tools out of slim fabric they hoped I'd be average, baby. I was designed to be fabulous, flawed, but still savage. Write this in your notebook. Add the vernacular of your words and remember to spell my name correctly when you diss me. The extra N was not made to be missed, just as much as my body isn't. To the poet who doesn't like when I spit poems about my fat ass. Boy. You talk with excuse in your tongue. Spit game for retrospect just to call me fat when I reject. Baby, I was fat when you approached me. Know my worth more than you know yourself. I am sex appeal in human form. You already dreaming about me. <laughs> Write this in your notebook. As the big girls in my type quote to your poetry, make corny lines about me crushing you, but we all know you wish I'd want to. To the poet who doesn't like when I spit poems about my fat ass, write one about me and don't forget the extra end. Thank you. <laughs> Come back, of 
course, you know, because I love y'all and shit. So. so this poem is one of my favorite poems. Um, it's just being as powerful as a woman can be. Um, so this poem is called, I Am Woman, a declaration to Eartha Kitt, Nina Simone, and Grace Jones. Thank you, baby. I am woman. Canceled by your fears and your doubts, do you speak diction? Has your words ever carried oceans and planted islands? Does your memories provide notion as in a world without me in it? You will remember me in your heart. Your veins will pump my energy and your lips will speak my truth. I am not afraid of you, of him, of her. Do not proclaim my charisma for weakness. Be relevant when you speak of me. I am God to the blessing you speak of. The earth is within my name. Speak it, own it. I am woman. Miss understood by many. Do not ask me to glow for you. My smile is not for sale. My soul is not for auction. And I'll be damned if the Mississippi River does not flow within me. Who are you to tell me that I was not born to be God? Who are you to sanction my art for your glory? I am sinner, but you are not my master. You are not my sanctuary. You will remember me and your music. I am your tyrant and your serenity, blazing through your speakers, spiraling through your propaganda, such a complicated creature. I am woman, hurricane and fierce, lavender and blue, rock and roll to soul, what you see is fire within my bones. Do not call me ugly, do not tone down my voice, my words, my attitude, this was never made for your enjoyment. Flip you the bird, call it what you will, bitch. I am the revolution. You will remember me. Here I am, black woman, power, God, femininity, love, believe me. Thank you for your time.